All right, we're leaving the hotel right now. Well, go and get some breakfast. Maybe in the hotel, maybe somewhere else. Quentin's already downstairs, so if he's eating at the hotel right now, then we're probably gonna end up eating at the hotel also. I'm grabbing some hotel breakfast. <clears throat> got some French toast. Quentin over there got some French toast also. Corey eating cereal again. I think he's had cereal every day for breakfast this trip. Must love cereal. Landon is making a waffle somewhere. So Landon just got back with his waffle. Beautiful waffle there, Landon. Can you walk us through what you did? So I cooked the waffle, and yesterday I did the same thing, but the, the sticky juice went off the sides. So this time I cut a hole in the middle so it wouldn't go off the sides, it would go in instead of all sticky in the mess. Oh, wow. Interesting. It does look like all the edges of it are clean. Very smart idea. We'll check back in with you later for a taste review. All right, how was the waffle? Really good. Um, the waffle part, different texture. I don't like how dry it was, hard to cut. That's really the only flaw about it. It tasted really good. Um, definitely four out of five because of the dryness and the hardness, but really good waffle. All right, thank you. Hey Cory, we have a question for you. Why is it that you get cereal every day when there are other options for breakfast? Do you like cereal that much or do you not like the other options? I guess you could say a little bit of both. I really like cereal. Every morning I'm like, ah, I'm gonna get some eggs. And then when I get there, it's like, I don't want it in the hot. I want something cold. All right, there you have it. That's why you get cereal every morning. White cereal. All right, what's up, guys? It's Quentin doing the vlog. Um, I'm almost fully done, and ready. Just gotta put on my jersey, and then I'll be ready to go. Uh, looks like London hasn't even started. Um, sitting on his phone, sleeping. I don't know how he's doing that. Um, let's go to the back and see what's going on over there. We got the bikes right there, all ready to go. There's the jersey I need to put on. It's right there. Tell. Um, we got Corey and Sullivan getting ready to go. Sullivan looks more ready than um, Corey does. So there's a big old open field over there. Probably gonna hit that up first or last, whichever one. Um, yeah, so I'll see y'all after.
we're leaving the Kroom Trails now. Quentin, describe the Kroom Trails in one word. Whoops. And uh, what do you rate it? 7.5 out of 10. That's a pretty good rating. Let's go see what Landon says. Landon, describe these trails in one word. Bro. And what do you rate it? Out of 10 or 5? 10. Uh, 8.5. 8.5, pretty good rating from the Landon. Let's go ask Corey. Oh, Corey's not behind the trailer. Corey's already in the van. Let's see what Corey says. Corey, describe this place in one word. Extravagant. It was extravagant. And what do you rate it? 9.7. They had a lot of sandwiches. 9.7. Pretty high rating again. Overall, it's a pretty good experience. Pretty nice place to ride. Very sandy, lots of whoops. Uh, real good time. Time for some lunch. Yeah. Alright, we stopped at the TA to get some Popeyes, Subway, and Pizza Hut. Or something else. Don't know what we're going to get yet. Landon, what are you getting? Probably a Pizza Hut Express. Subway. Corey's probably getting Subway too. I might get a Popeyes. I don't know yet. All right, well, me and Corey and Landon decided to get some pizzas. Pizza Hut Express. Got cheese, pepperoni, and Supreme. Quentin is still over there paying for his food. And we're already eating. And we went and got drinks too. All right, so at this gas station, they actually sell license plates. Real license plates from other states. So, if you're a bad guy, you can come buy all these license plates and you can switch them out whenever you go do bad guy things. And they will never catch you. Pretty good idea, huh? Yep. I never thought of that. They also have an upstairs. About to go check it out. <laughs> Looks like it's a uh, lounge area for the drivers. Pretty nice. Also got a bathroom. And uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Well, it was a pretty nice lunch. Pretty tired. Uh, time to start the long drive to the house. Still going down the road. This is how we travel. Quentin Netflixing. Landon. Dead. Netflixing. TV is not even going. And the GPS is broken. Alright, so we just stopped at a gas station. I uh, completely forgot to bring the camera in. But we got some DQ. Quentin got a blizzard. Landon got a banana split. Wait, hold on. Wait for Y'all got some DQ. I put diesel. Wouldn't let me get DQ. The line was too long. Just wanted Dairy Queen. Had to end up with this Borden's chocolate milk. My Dairy Queen is okay. so good. Oh my god. But there was no one in the line when we got there to Dairy Queen. Then Corey came along and there was probably about eight people on the line. So the line was definitely too long. Also, we made a discovery of these Airheads Extreme Bites. Uh, if you want to get these, very delicious. Highly recommend this product. But if you see this bag and it says new up here, do not get it. They are disgusting. The new versions are not the same. Old version is where it's at. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of the differences in a little bit. So as you can see, the bag is now open. Movie magic. Grab one of these things out. Uh, on this, the old version, so I can get the camera to focus a little more. You can see how the colors uh, have a, a distinct line in between them and they can actually be broken apart on the line. 
so there it's almost as if the uh, the colors you see it's peeling apart right there they're, they're almost like separate pieces they've just been kind of stuck together the new version is all one piece and it does not break into separate pieces like this does the flavor not as strong on the new ones and also this texture is way better in the mouth has a much greater mouth feel than the new version so get it while you can uh, hopefully they might go back to the old version in the future because the new version is just it's not doing it for me I like this break apart kind uh, there you go that's my little review for the day all right, so we are on the Mid-Bay Bridge now. We've been having some pretty bad weather. Uh, got some really big waves going in the bay. Looks like the ocean, not the bay. You can't really tell, but there's some white caps out there. Still Netflixing. We're almost there. All right, we are almost to our final destination. But you know Corey has to make a stop at McDonald's. Yeah. Can't go too long without that. So, going to grab a bite to eat. So we're inside the McDonald's. We've got Quentin lounging here at the nice lounging area. Corey was sitting in that chair just now, but he just left. Why is this such a nice McDonald's? Got a nice surfboard up on the wall. Surfboard light. This thing's pretty magical. You can move it. Oh, it got stuck. No, we just broke it. So that doesn't move anymore, it's stationary. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. There's, a, there's some Macs over there as well. We got some iMacs over here. Nice computing station. Mother right there. Pretty fancy McDonald's. All right, got a little bit of an update. I moved to this table. It's a little bit taller. Got some square chairs right there. They're uh, independent. Uh, Corey is now back in his chair. Quentin and Landon are still lounging. Also, just noticed this nice statue of Ronald. All right, guys, just got to the apartment place. Pretty fancy looking. Got a little swimming hole right there. Maybe, probably not. Try to figure out how to get into the elevator. Try, uh, try pressing that. Let's try putting in this code. Ooh, it works. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's how you get into the elevator. Nice hidden elevator right here. Should be coming down to this one. Fancy. I'm gonna go to number three. Got my other hands full with these boards. And uh, I got my hands full. As you can tell, Landon is very excited to be here. Quentin is a technology guru right here. Got my iPad under the, under the, I think it's under my jacket. Is it my jacket? What is your yeah, other iPad? Yeah, some technology. My I think it's from number 326 that we're going to. Uh, don't know for sure. Oh wow! The water About to is... find out. Wow! Open thing right here. Oh, open sesame. This is nice. There's room 321 straight across. There's that swimming hole I was telling you about earlier. I don't think you're allowed to swim in it, actually. Well, that is not where I meant to leave off at but my camera said that it, the card was full and then I had a bunch of problems trying to get the card reformatted so uh, I've been on the phone with Canon for a little while finally got it figured out good to go now but now I'm also going to bed and tomorrow is family reunion stuff so that's gonna be it for this vlog series hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next whatever